Hey, teacher, I really need to talk to you about something important. Can we talk? Good morning, Kevin. Absolutely, what's on your mind? Well, I couldn't manage to do my homework because I didn't find the time to read the book. I'm sorry. Was it a matter of not having the time or not wanting to do it? To be honest, I did read the book, but I couldn't understand anything. It's just too challenging. I understand. However, completing your assignments is crucial. Remember, reading is a valuable skill. Yeah, I get that, but it's tough for me. I don't enjoy reading, and even when I try, I can't comprehend the content. Can you help me, please? How can I improve my English reading skills? How do I start understanding what I read? Seriously, thank you so much. Teacher, I promise I will listen to you. First and foremost, it's essential to choose materials that match your current reading level. If the book you were assigned was too challenging, consider starting with something a bit easier. Gradually working your way up will help build your confidence and understanding. Secondly, try to establish a reading routine. Set aside a specific time each day dedicated to reading, even if it's just for 15 to 20 minutes. Consistency is key when it comes to improving your skills. Additionally, break down your reading sessions into smaller sections. Focus on understanding one paragraph or a few pages at a time before moving on. This approach can make the task seem less overwhelming. As you read, make use of tools like a dictionary or online resources to look up unfamiliar words. Understanding the vocabulary is crucial for comprehending the overall meaning of the text. While reading, try to visualize the content. Create mental images of the scenes or concepts described in the text. This can make it easier to remember and understand the material. Consider taking notes as you read. Jot down key points, important details, or any questions you may have. This not only helps with comprehension, but also provides you with a reference when completing assignments. Lastly, don't hesitate to ask for help when needed. If there are specific passages or concepts you find challenging, reach out to me or your classmates for clarification. Remember, improvement takes time, so be patient with yourself. By incorporating these strategies into your reading routine, you'll gradually become more comfortable and proficient in understanding English texts. Thank you, teacher. I appreciate your advice. I'll definitely give these strategies a try and work on building a consistent reading routine. I'm relieved to know that I can ask for help when needed. Your guidance means a lot to me and I'll do my best to improve my reading skills. Teacher, I'm eager to improve my reading skills and your tips are really helpful. Do you have any additional suggestions? or tips that could further assist me in becoming a better reader. I want to make the most out of this opportunity to enhance my English proficiency. Absolutely, Kevin. I'm glad to see your enthusiasm. Here are some additional tips to help you on your journey to becoming a better reader. Explore different genres and types of writing. This could include fiction, non-fiction, articles, and more. Diversifying your reading materials can expose you to various writing styles and vocabulary, making you a more versatile reader. Engage in discussions with your peers or me about the material you're reading. Sharing your thoughts 
and hearing others' perspectives can deepen your understanding and provide insights you might have missed. Establish achievable reading goals for yourself. Whether it's completing a certain number of pages or chapters within a specific time frame, having goals can motivate you to stay consistent in your reading routine. Listening to audiobooks while following along with the text can enhance your comprehension and pronunciation. This multisensory approach can make the reading experience more enjoyable and accessible. If there's a book club or reading group at school or in your community, consider joining. Discussing books with others not only holds you accountable, but also exposes you to different perspectives and interpretations. Instead of passively going through the text, actively engage with it. Ask questions, make predictions, and reflect on what you've read. This approach can significantly improve your comprehension. Reading aloud can improve both your reading and speaking skills. It helps you focus on each word, understand the context, and enhances your overall fluency. Take advantage of online platforms that offer reading comprehension exercises, quizzes, or interactive lessons. Many educational websites provide valuable resources to reinforce your understanding of English texts. Remember, the key is consistency and patience. Improvement will come gradually, and each step you take will contribute to your overall progress. If you ever feel stuck or have questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm here to support you throughout this journey. Keep up the good work, Kevin. Thank you so much, teacher. These additional tips are great, and I'm excited to incorporate them into my reading routine. I'll make sure to diversify my reading materials, set goals, and actively engage with the text. Joining a book club sounds like a fantastic idea, and I'll explore audiobooks as well. Your guidance is invaluable, and I appreciate your support. Out of curiosity, have you ever faced challenges in improving your English reading skills? If so, how did you overcome them? It would be inspiring to hear about your experience and any personal tips you might have based on your journey. I'm glad you find the tips helpful, Kevin. Yes, I did face challenges when I was working on improving my English reading skills. Like many learners, I found certain texts challenging and there were times when I struggled with comprehension. One thing that helped me significantly was setting realistic goals and gradually increasing the complexity of the materials I read. I started with simpler texts and gradually moved on to more complex ones as my confidence and understanding grew. Consistency played a crucial role as dedicating a specific time each day to reading made a noticeable difference over time. Joining a book club was also a turning point for me. Discussing books with others not only exposed me to different perspectives, but also motivated me to explore a wide range of genres. It made the reading experience more enjoyable and interactive. I also made it a habit to read aloud, which improved both my comprehension and pronunciation. Additionally, I sought out online resources and engaged in various reading exercises to reinforce my skills. Remember, everyone's journey is unique, and what works for one person might differ for another. The key is to stay persistent, be open to trying different strategies, and celebrate the small victories along the way. I believe in your potential, Kevin, and I'm here to support you as you work towards becoming a more proficient reader. Student, thank you for sharing your experience, teacher. 
It's comforting to know that even educators like you faced challenges in the past. Your journey and the strategies you use provide me with inspiration and motivation. I'll definitely take your advice to heart and apply these methods to my own reading practice. It's reassuring to hear that setting realistic goals and gradually increasing the difficulty of the materials worked for you. I'll make sure to be patient with myself and celebrate the small victories, just as you mentioned. And joining a book club sounds like a great way to make reading more interactive and enjoyable.